Welcome to my allotment, Plot 3 in North Warwickshire. I'm certainly glad I covered the uh, broad beans up. We've had about uh, one inch of snow, 25mm. The broad beans don't look too bad at all. The fruit cage, quite large holes so some of the snow's got through. But some people's fruit cages are bowing very badly. Let's get back in the polytunnel where it's warm. So it's Sunday. I was going to come up here first thing, but I've been out all night and I've just got up in the last hour or so. Uh, the heat has been on all night. And I've bought the first sowings of the seeds up here. Protected them a bit as well from the uh, cold wind and just popped them inside the grow room. Let's have a look what temperatures are in the, it actually in the grow room before we actually put the heating method in. I'm going to do it all in one day because tomorrow's temperatures are going to be totally contrasting today. It's going to be a bit, little bit more warmer tomorrow morning so we'll, do, we'll just do it today. Not sure how accurate these are, not sure how calibrated they are. So it just gives us a bit of a guideline. It says it's 99% humidity in there, which I suppose it could be. So I'm going to move the heater in. Now it's warm through. My hands are a bit chilly, so that'll be uh, a nice little job. And then We'll see if the temperature increases in an hour. So I've got an identical pot. So this pot here has been out in the open all night. doesn't look like there's going to be any temperature change on that. So this is the pot that's uh, got the candle in. Just give it a short while just to see. So it's fluctuating at 8 and 9. So 7, 7 degrees difference. <coughs> right, I'll move it inside the uh, grow room. <coughs> so the heating system's now in. And now this is the update of the first seed sowing. I believe this may be day six or day seven. That's the pointed cabbage. And that's the red cabbage. Now as you can see they've gone a little bit leggy. It's just knowing the right time to take it away from the airing cupboard. Hopefully I haven't put them into too much shock by bringing them up. I've covered them up well. But at least now I've got somewhere to put them, hopefully, in a warm but not too hot. And we've also got to look at any ventilation that we might need. We'll move on. Bring you back in an hour, guys. Welcome back, guys. And don't laugh at me work phone. I can't help it. Right, we'll go over to the uh, grow room now and see uh, what temperature differences there are. 
So that's not bad at all. From three, four degrees, it's gone up four, and it's slowly creeping up. And both temperature gauges are running about uh, one degree out from each other. But it's just a guide. I will be back here tomorrow. It'll be a separate video on another subject. I hope you ain't getting bored with my videos, guys. But I'm varying them and trying to keep them different. I am winging it. And I do like comments to put me right. As you can see, because I've got the door open, it's just started to... Uh, temperatures dropping down. So hopefully, what I've done, I've put those plants on the bottom shelf because we don't really know what temperature this will get up to. But after being in the airing cupboard, they're probably quite cold. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope this has been of some interest. Happy growing, everyone. And take care till next time.